Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time for me to try to complete the outfit that I started with the previous Upcycled Fashions video. I took a men's dress shirt and I turned part of it into a skirt and I saved the top to make some kind of a matching shirt or top or whatever to go with the skirt. And that's what I'm going to attempt. I actually have thought a lot about this but they were just fleeting thoughts. They, they weren't really thoughts that I invested a whole lot of time to. <laughs> so I don't know which thought would be the easiest to complete. But right now I'm thinking some kind of a halter top. This is going on my small mannequin. She's tiny and flat chested. So how hard can that be? Can't be too hard, can it? If it can be hard, I will certainly find a way to make it hard. But we're going to attempt that. I just had all kinds of ideas, but I'm going with that. It's always better to start easy because it might be more complicated than I imagine. That's pretty much all I can say. I would have liked to have done something with the cuffs and I still might if I have time in this video or maybe another video down the road. But, but let's go at least try to make a halter top to match the skirt. Moving you over to the sewing center. The first thing I'm going to do is take off the sleeves and I'm just going to cut them off. I might want to do something with the cuffs, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the sleeves above where the cuff ends up here. And then I'm going to open this part of the sleeve up. That's going to give me plenty of fabric for the front of a halter top. I have a whole different idea. I'm going in a different direction. I actually thought of this before, but I wasn't really feeling like tackling it, but now I'm going to. We're going to be making a crop top out of this, sleeveless, but this is too big for my girl, so I'm going to have to cut it down. So I'm going to go take a couple of measurements, and I shall be right back. When I put this on her, I decided I want the top of the shoulder to start on this third pinkish line. I'm going to put the pin a little ahead of it to allow for a seam allowance. Now I think I want to go down seven inches, which is here, but I want to curve out two inches. So I want to end up here, where the head of that pin is. So I guess this means <laughs> that I'm going to be cutting at a curve like that and then straight up here and keep my fingers crossed. So let me try cutting here. I'm going to cut bigger than I think I need so I don't screw up. First let me get this off. Alright, so I'm going to cut like, I'm going to start down here, get rid of that pin. All right, I'm going to go see if that will somewhat fit her. That's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing to the other side. Let me see. I think I'll use the piece that I cut out as my pattern. I think the next thing I will do is hem the armhole openings. And then we're going to make a casing, and I think I'm going to put elastic through it, but then we're also going to put a tie, because even though this button ties, I need the casing just so it fits her a little bit better, and then I don't want the casing to be just open. So we're going to do the casing. Let's start by sewing the armholes. I'm going to go ahead and hem the armholes before I even sew those side seams up. Just makes it easier. I can lay it flat. The wrong side is facing up. And I'm just going to double fold and stitch. I went ahead and pressed those hems down so they're nice and flat. 
And now with right sides together, I'm going to stitch up those side seams. That looks pretty cute just as is. Now I want to make a casing. And obviously that needs to be the same width as the shirt. I'm going to go ahead and button it here at the bottom. So I'm going to have the casing go all the way around, but then tie here in the front. So I don't think I want the casing to be too wide. We have plenty of fabric to get a casing out of. That part's not wide enough. That part is. So let me think and then I'll show you what I'm doing. I don't really want the casings to be wide, so I'm going to make them just like a hair bigger than an inch wide, so when they're folded after the seam allowance, they'll be roughly a half an inch. And I'm going to just cut from the widest part of this piece of fabric left over from the sleeve. Okay, I'm going to go sew these together and then I'm going to be attaching them directly to the shirt. I'm just picking two ends and I'm going to stitch those together. And then on the other side, I'm going to hem these. I'm just going to fold it in so the edge isn't raw when it's at the front, when we have it open in the front. Just folded it over once. And I'll do the same on the other side. I kind of guessed at how big I needed it to have it fit this top. So let's see, if for the heck of it, I were to start here at the button, will it go all the way around? <laughs> I did a rough measurement and it looks like it's perfect. Knock on wood. My side seams are not even, so I'm going to trim the back here a little bit, make that even. See, for whatever reason, when I cut, the side seam is uneven there. I'm just going to even it out. Okay, I need to start at the front. And let's see. Ooh, that's a very tiny casing. What was I thinking? Will the quarter inch elastic even fit in there? Could do it that way. Going to make it work. I just have to make my stitch line very close to the edge. And I think I will start it there. We'll see how that goes. So I have the shirt right side up, and then I'm just folding the casing, and I'm going to enclose both raw edges of the casing, and so then I will be able to push the casing down like that. It will be all nice and clean and neat, we think. If there was a prize for the best guess as to how long that piece of fabric needed to be, I would win that fucking prize. <laughs> I think now that I'm going to go ahead and top stitch here just to give this a nice clean look. That just means I'm going to push the casing down and I'm going to stitch and then that will catch the um, whatever. <laughs> the raw edge on the other side. Got a button in the way. Wrong glasses on, too. Life's a bitch. So this is what the casing looks like on the outside. See that top stitching? Just makes it nice and flat. Stripes don't match up. That's okay. Nobody's looking at that. <laughs> now I just need a small safety pin that will go through that casing. Does every single one of them have to be stuck to something? Let's see. Oh, that pin's gonna work just fine. Oh, I need to go see how much elastic I need for the mannequin. I didn't bring the elastic over because it is somehow tangled around stuff under this table. She needed about 26 comfortably, so let's see if I cut it to 
let's see, 22. Will that give enough pull? That should be good. I'm cutting around 22. Safety pin. And we're just going to pass it through the casing. So far, so good. I ran out of memory, so I had to stop there for a little bit. And what I ended up doing is when I got the elastic close to the end, I just put a pin there. I'm going to be stitching right there so the elastic doesn't go through. And same on the other end. I have no clue yet how this is going to look on her, but this is friggin' cute. We need uh, to make a little tie here now. I could use some kind of ribbon, but I'm just going to use fabric. I'm just going to make like an inch strip and then double fold to the center. I'll show you. I'm not turning any little stinking tubes like that. So I'm just going to cut two inch strips. Going to the machine. I went ahead and folded these in half and pressed them just to make it a little easier. Now I'm just going to open and I'm going to turn each raw edge to that pressed line, fold over and sew. And I'm just doing that all right here at the machine. No pinning, no more pressing, just doing it. It's not that hard once you get going. The fabric just wants to fold in like that. Now that the straps are made, I'm going to just attach them to each end of this. I'm just going to put it underneath and stitch that on. And it is time to go try this on the mannequin. Before I forget, this shirt came from Ben and Jason from New York. Hi, Ben and Jason. I keep forgetting to say it because I feel like this is just still a continuation from the other Upcycled Fashions video. And there will be yet another continuation. I do believe it won't be for Upcycled Fashions, but I have an idea for the rest of these scraps, and I think I could do that on my Scrappy Transformation series. I have a very good idea for the sleeves and whatever little bit of fabric is left over. So, I have to tell you, this is on the mannequin and I absolutely love it. Love it. Cute alert! I am able to move the small mannequin, so I pulled her forward so I can show you the back. But just look at how cute this came out. It fits her perfectly. And what I like is because it was a man's shirt, you know, the collar is nice and big. It almost goes out to the end of the shoulders. I really just love it so much. And it would be just as cute open, like if somebody has a bathing suit top underneath. Hard to do this with one hand. I had to give up and use two hands, but I at least undid this one. But you can see, you know, it could be left more open, even without a bathing suit top under there. I just love it because the elastic here, you know, matches the elastic here. I wasn't even thinking about that. The armholes came out perfect for her. This is what the back looks like. It just came out so nice. Probably easier to see this way. It just fits her perfectly. What a cute outfit, if you know how to sew, that you can make for your little girl out of one man's shirt. And not just a little girl, but a tween or a teen. But for sure, a little girl. Although for a very young girl, the collar might be like way too big. So, I don't know teen or tween you can do it for those ages and or some very skinny adult <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this transformation thank you so much Ben and Jason I think I did shirt number three justice I screwed up two of their previous shirts but not all hope is lost for those I can always try again and do something different with them so thank you so much for watching please subscribe so you don't miss any more upcycled fashions and I will be back with more soon Bye!